Now, if you can see right there, there's three display ports connected to the back of my graphics card. There's still one HDMI port, and this one that's right here, but this one comes all the way around, right? Excuse the mess. You know, I make a lot of tech videos and all that, live streams, so I'm cleaning up and getting things in order. And all these cables is utilized but it comes all the way across over here right pop to my sim rig pop to this monitor which is an awesome monitor and i'm gonna put the links in the description this is not a sponsored video all products are bought by me with my money with the same monies i generate on the internet i promise you and i show you exactly how to do so if you pay attention to the videos but with that being said Pop. So I like to come over here and I got the sim and that holds the pop, the chair, right? So I didn't want to put my PC on this side because I sit over here a lot, pop, to make my regular content. So I take the chair off of the sim, pop, put it over here. So I have a display port cable, but I don't want to keep plugging out and then plugging this one there when I want this monitor on. These two go on. One is to my to that main rig that's turned on, and that one is so I can look at the chat and it's connected to the streaming PC. Now, Sutton tells me that I could connect the HDMI cable to this one so those three could be on when I'm sitting there and then I don't have to unplug because one time I unplugged that cable to plug this monitor and then like everything went off. So like all the drivers that I have for my sim, for my wheel and everything, I had to like reconnect a lot of stuff. Like I had to calibrate hand brakes again. You know, it was just a hassle. And I'm like, yo, what happened? Right. And that was it that I guess the graphics card or the memory or whatever it just like pop nah it wanted this back on you get it so the computers are kind of smart but they so smart that they stupid at times because i'm like bro that's dumb like i plugged took off put back like come on bro so i don't know drop a comment if you know anything about that why it does that once you unplug it and put something else then it's like kind of hard to get back to where it was at I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I that's why I buy a lot of cables. These cables are good DisplayPort cables by Benefi. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, B-E, I don't know if you can see there with the focus, but uh, B-E-N-F-E-I. And they like for uh, 4K, 2K, 8K. Over 120 hertz go through it and all that. They're amazing and they're not that expensive. But this HDMI cable that I had bought, pop, I got it stashed in here because I bought this cable for this monitor. I was gonna actually, it was for another monitor because I was gonna get a one with a higher resolution. This one is a, a 1440p, it's amazing for the price point. It's on sale for like, I think, 300 to something. So that's awesome. And it works great. Uh, you won't be able to tell the difference from the $1,000 one to 2000 to that one. Believe me, especially if it's your first monitor. So I really recommend that one. And, you know, I'm never going to lie to you. These are products that I use myself that was bought with my money. Actually, that actually, to be honest, because I'm that real. This monitor right here, it was a gift uh, for my birthday and Christmas. Pop, everything else I got on my own, everything. But it's a good thing that you be able to get, to get a gift, right? Uh, nobody gave me nothing in life. is amazing. So shout out to them. Uh, 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 Angeles uh, <laughs> family. Uh, it was amazing. They gave me that for my birthday and Christmas. Uh, a few things. A pair of gloves that are right there. Pop. I bought these. Uh, and they gave me this handbrake, did they? For my birthday and Christmas. And then I bought the, the motherboard for 40 bucks. I changed it because it went off. 
This handbrake was 90 bucks. Then I, the same day that I fixed that one, I bought this. I spent 140 on the Moza with because I bought this too, pop. This handle. So anyway, you know, like uh uh some of the things like this and this, I didn't need it. I had my own, but it was appreciated. You get it? And I'm grateful. So yeah, that was amazing to be able to get a gift. But I had a bunch of monitors and I was gonna get a bigger one, but when they gave me that one as a gift, I didn't want to be making it seem like I was ungrateful, so I kept it, I love it, and I cherish it, and I'm a million percent grateful, right? Boom. These three, I bought all the same three monitors. They're on sale right now for about 280 bucks, 250 They came out on Amazon as uh, best budget monitors for the year still, and they're amazing. So I'll put them in the links in the description. They are uh, IPS panels. One of them is a VA panel, and it costs a few bucks cheaper, so you get to save. The IPS is, let's say, two-something, almost three, and you get to buy... The VA with higher hertz, and you get to save like 80 bucks or probably more at times. So I'm going to put VA panel and IPS panel in the description. But check this out. Anyway, this is what I'm doing. Pop, this is the cable. This cable is amazing. This cable shoots out 8K because it's HDMI. R mind you, I don't want to use that monitor. I don't really use this monitor. And that one, I just look at the chat when I'm live. And when I'm not, I don't do nothing. I just want the picture to be there instead of being off like that. You get it? So I put like a cool design there, Pop. Sometimes I put flash or I put myself uh, wearing this mask. <laughs> Pop, yeah. So, you know, it's just, it's just cool when you're taking pictures and recording. It's amazing. But this is a good cable, bro. And this is uh, by a company. What is it? Oh, my God. We got to get better lighting over here. Uh, oh, there it goes, the lighting. Hold on. I got it. Pop. I got this in my hand, and it's being a kind of... Okay, so, Pop, it's uh, the name on it. Hold on. Yeah. It's A-K-O-A-D-A. -A -A. Anyway, Pop, you can see right here is 8K. Oh, right here is the uh, the focus, and I have the focus off. That's why I don't like that autofocus situation. But you're gonna be able to see it right there. You see, AK pop, and this is the name of the cable. I guess, however you uh, pronounce that, that's crazy, bro. Cause I can't make out the spelling. Is that a G? I saw O. Well, that's the cable, bro. Whatever. For some reason, I thought it was like gray. Is it gray? It's black. Why well, I was thinking it was gray when I got it. Oh, my God. It is black. It's like a grayish black, but it is black. So, that's it. Let's see if it works. It's like 20 foot long. So, it's super long. Because remember, I was going to put it... From here, pop, all the way over there, pop. So let's see if it works. I'll be right back. What you think is going to work? Holy oh, snap. Pop, so I got it in. <clears throat> I put it, right? So there it is. goes here. This is the power cord. I put it through here. I don't use this, but I still pay for it monthly for the box, just in case. This, I was supposed to wrap it around there better. And then there's a spot down here where you could, like, put it in. See that? Pop, pop. So the wire goes through there. All these other cables, I've just been working on it. And then I plugged it right there. So, pop, let's get to it. Now we're going to turn it on. Pop, I got to go down here. This is where I got my power uh, surge protector. Pop. You're going to see things go on now. Pop, pop, pop. Magic. So that one went on. That one went on. The middle one is on, so uh, this is off, right? Yes. Okay, because see, this cable that's right here goes all the way around, but uh, it goes this way, but the power to really turn everything on with that 
thing is there. You get it? So we're going to fix all that up a little better. But there's nothing really I could do because I put cables going all the way that way. Because I didn't want to put my PC on that side. So that's kind of hard. Unless I get longer cables and put them all through the wall and all that. And that's crazy, bro. You get it? So we're going to have to figure something out with that there. It's just when you do PC streaming and you got a crazy setup, the cables is insane. And that's that I cable management. There's mad cables under here. You get it? Pop the surge protectors under there. Uh, uh, the switcher to switch back and forth, so I only use uh, one keyboard, one mouse, one mic. If not, you got to use two of everything, and I put them the best I can. And these little things here, I'm going to fix them better, but I've been taking things out and putting back, like making a lot of tech content and doing reviews on products that I buy to show people if they work or not, so it's kind of hard. So now the magic buttons that I bought, that's the power buttons. Pop, these buttons are amazing. You could put them away somewhere, Pop, so nobody knows where they at but you. But you don't got to reach over to the PC all the time. So it's right here, and you could be sitting down, and you just go like this. Do you believe in magic? Bing. It's amazing. Let's see if it goes on now. That's the eight. Maybe I got to connect the HDMI because I haven't connected it, like, properly. To like the PC itself. What's up with this button? Is this button on? Okay, there it goes. HDMI 2. It's, it's taking its time probably to like get to know the monitor. I put it on the HDMI 2. Oh, okay, I got to turn this on. I got to sign in for it to go on, I think. That's what happens. Hold on. Give me a second. Pop. I got to log in. Let's see. Oh my god. But let's see. Whoop. We're gonna see if it comes on. Maybe I oh you see? It came on. Alright, cool. We doing it. Pop. So now I just gotta get a different uh pick for that and i'll do that in a second so it came on this one is not on because this pc is not on or the power is you get it that is to that to that pc but it'll come on so pop that's cool right let's check it out okay so if you could tell the difference Bop, look at the coloration, right? That's with the HDMI. This one is the VA panel, 165 hertz. I overclock it and make it more, and I use it in 1440p, and it's a 1080 monitor. But you know how we do. I stretch the thing, and then I put it through the Elgato HD60X Plus, which is on sale right now, I think for 200 bucks. And the new Elgato, I don't know if it's necessary, because I stream in 2K, 4K, and all that with that same HD60X. And you get the same uh, 120 hertz, 140. All you got to do is put it on D4 settings. And I can show you all that in the next video if you want to see how you do the dual PC streaming with your regular. Because uh, they just came out with a new one. So I don't know what's so special about it. So anyway, this is the IPS panel. I don't know if you could tell the difference. I haven't dealt with the settings in a minute. This one is brighter. A lot of people like brightness. But this one looks like it's more color accurate, right? I don't know. But I usually make them both look, all of them look exactly the same when I put a picture up there. But you could tell the difference a little bit right now. A lot of people like that better because it's supposed to be better. It's IPS panel, that's VA panel. That's like 200 almost $300, like 250 You might get it for 280 They want a lot now for these because a lot of people was like, AOC is a good monitor. I had this one for about two years, using it every day for hours. Then I bought this one IPS, and then I bought this one last. Pop, and I started making content with that right there. And I started buying things when I started generating income. And I started with a phone, 
and a dream. And I spent over $30,000 in tech equipment. I got a bunch of graphics cards, a bunch of PC built parts, uh, different sims, different things. Everything bought with money I generated on the internet. I never lie to you. Facts. So let's check it out. Bop. Let's see how we can do this. So I'm going to show you right here. So what you want to do is you see how you see the mouse. You see this little this little thing moving. Pop, pop, pop. You Look how easy it goes to this monitor. Look. Boom. It goes straight through. Now it's there. You get it? But I got to uh, flip that monitor. But I'm going to get a different picture for it. Right? But the uh, you want to always download NVIDIA control panel. So you're going to see both monitors in there. And when I turn on. The Elgato HD60X, you see that too. So you'll see three, but one will be like the Elgato. You get it? G-Sync compatible, boo, boo and all that. We don't need none of that. So it controls this one too. You get it? But I may leave the settings regular because I'm not utilizing it. So there's no need to put, you know, like the coloration, put it up, or none of that. Even though it's already set. Because that's the way I had it. Like it's set to use this. To use uh the digital. The NVIDIA ink instead of regular. It's cool. I could just leave it like that. It's on his regular settings at 50. So I just got to flip it. Once I change the pick. Give me a second. I want to put this down. So the easiest way for you to change the pictures. Is you right click. And let me put the focus a little better here. Because. Bop, right you right click and you go right here to where it says personalize pop and you see this right here you find a pick but you hit browse and it'll take you right to you could pick one of these it stays with like five you get it but I don't want those so you hit browse and it'll take you to wherever your picks is at you get it so I'm gonna pick one of these just to show you real quick how it how it functions. So it's gonna stretch out anyway, so it doesn't even matter like the size of it. Well we could yeah, alright, so pop, I'll pick that one, let's say, right? And I'll fix them later. So I chose the picture, right? And it switched, but you see it's that way because it's not flipped yet. Boom. And it'll show you when you tap on it. You right click on that same picture, look. You right click on the picture and it'll ask you what monitor you actually want to put it on. Right? So, uh, that's monitor 2, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, it was. So now you go to settings, right? I'm going to close this so I can show you where you go to settings. You go to settings right here. You right click. You go to settings. Pop. You hit on system. Pop. And now you want to deal with two, right? Because that's the second monitor. And uh, right here where it says landscape, you want to change that to portrait flipped. But once you hit that, it's going to switch like that. You see? So it goes the right way. Portrait flip. If I put revert, it's going to go right back. That says revert back to like change your mind, right? Look, pop, I pressed it. So now it goes back the other way, right? So you got to make sure that when you press on display orientation, that you just don't hit portrait, right? Because if you hit just portrait, pop, it's that way, upside down. You get it? So you want to hit portrait flipped, pop, okay? Portrait flipped, pop. And then you press keep changes. Pop. Now you get money. It's like that. Right? And now I'm going to get into that. One thing I wanted to tell you. You never duplicate the displays. You always extend them. It's better for the FPS, coloration, all that. It's amazing. Right? So. If you want to use this display, you have to make it your main display in the settings, right? So, you will go to, like,
you will press right here pop and that's two and you press show only on two or you get you press it pop and then you hit make main display you get it but i'm not touching none of that because i just want the picture you heard so now in order for this one to come on we're gonna go over here pop but i'm gonna unplug this because i don't need oh it's not gonna go on anyway because in order for this monitor to go on it needs to be plugged with that cable right there you get it so it's still gonna be shooting power to this power supply the light is gonna be on everything is gonna be on these things but i think so i'm not sure if i remember good but let's go i'll show you how you do this Bop! right now i come right here and i press this do you believe in magic pop oh <laughs> it doesn't work i don't need a graphics card in here because it has integrated graphics the processor by intel that has an intel and that has a ryzen but i put the graphics card it's just better bro for rendering and all that and using the thing pop do you believe in magic bling those are 55 dollar fans you get like six of them they super cool these not that just those and these cost hundreds of dollars i spend a thousand dollars and Corsair QL fans with the radiator and all that. I don't know. You can't tell much of a difference, bro. You know, those are way better. But come on, bro. You can still get away with this, bro. You get it? So I don't know. Is it worth it? Or is it cool just for like bragging rights or whatever? And I don't know. You could change the color on both of them. I just always leave it on red and yellow because it matches. But I'm going to start changing it probably next year. <laughs> I've never shut them off since I've had them. I think I got them for like a year or two. They last forever. People have them for 30, 40, 60 years. Stop it, bro. Oh, so this is the thing. Now you see I'm here. Pop. You're going to see the, the little, the, 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 see the little thing pop, right? Now you're going to see this little thing, the, the cursor, go to this thing right but i have to press down here pop look watch him go it's gonna go over there pop right it's there i just gotta press here everything goes over there this switches all right look let me press it again pop it's gonna come back to this one i switch the elgato everything is connected to this switcher so it's like having two stream decks when you only got one some people bought two stream decks because they didn't know this trick you get the switcher, you connect the Elgato Stream Deck, you download the software on your streaming PC and on your on your gaming PC, on both PCs. Pop, pop. So it switches it over, boom, and you get to control even there. And nowadays, I control it from my phone, so I could be sitting here. That's what I wanted, or standing up, and Elgato came out with the Elgato Mobile. And that same, those same buttons that I have there come out on my phone. Just like this, look, pop, that's why I keep this cheap phone, the phone I got in my hand, I just got, it was like a thousand something dollars, so you see it right there, pop, right, it has the one for Twitch for that one, but I switch it, I come over here, pop, you're gonna see that same thing on this phone, but I pay for it uh, monthly, I think it's like five bucks, they got a free trial for like seven days, and then you're done, pop. I got to disconnect it and put it back. It goes via Wi-Fi. Connect now. Pop. There you go. Ping. Right? It's on a different page. I got to go back. Why is it on that page? There we go. Pop. You see it? It's the same. Ping. Ping. So you connect it through your phone and the software in here. I'm showing you a lot in this video. This is the, the Stream Deck software. Ping. You see it right there? And it's con the phone is connected to it. Pop, you see the Q720, uh, whatever the hell, that's the phone, bro. Facts. Pop, and all that is connected to my OBS. Pop, pop, pop. So I'm showing you right here, OBS is going to pop out, right? You're going to see this ugly camera. Pop. So the lights is not on, so it's going to look kind of crazy. Pop. 
All right, so you see how it looks? <laughs> I'm not going to fix that now. So you right click here, pop. You see everything comes up. You see the El, the 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 Elgato is the HD 60X is at 1440. You see that? Pop. Cuz I have that monitor in 1440 and that's a 1080p monitor. But I blow it up with the Nvidia control panel. So I hit that, pop, and then I use the enable preview. That works for me. Some people leave it like this. I got to see myself, bro. <laughs> then I could close this, pop. Now I'm going to switch. Everything is going to go over there. Look, pop. It's a little hassle, but it's, it's, it's worth it in the long run. If you got the money, it's super expensive to do PC stream. Pop, I remember this guy when I first looked it up. He said, if you're here for do PC streaming video, I'm suggesting you have a lot, a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> he wasn't wrong, but it's worth it. Pop, we're in there. Bing. I try to use everything of myself. So MSI Afterburner, you already know what that's for. To control the fan speeds, pop, and all that. And the power from... The graphics card that's in there. Hold on, why? I don't know. You can probably see a little more. It has a 2060 Super Pop. And that's a 3060 Pop. Amazing. That one is on sale, I think, for 500 right now. Just the card. And this one is still about the same price because they both amazing. I paid way more for that, but it goes on sale every so often. It's an amazing card. Pop. So let's check that. Now we're going to get the... OBS pop, which is the best thing to use for content creators, and it's free. Although I pay for a lot of stuff. Pop, there we go, you heard? And I have cameras set in here. Pop, you see that? I have different angle cameras that's connected to my streaming PC, and that's my main PC camera. These cameras, these are on my streaming PC. That's the one behind me right here. Pop. Right? And this one up there is this. Pop. Right? And that one right there is this. Pop. You get it? So we all over the place with it. Pop. So I control it there. But I also control it over here. I could do it with the buttons. I just didn't. Like this. Look. And that's on my phone. So I don't got to be reaching all the way over here. You hit this. Look, it's gonna switch when I tap when I tap it. Pop, pop. You see it up there? Switch to that. It's the same as that now. It's capturing it. Pop, pop. Go to the gameplay. Pop. I'm there, little me. And then when the game comes up, it'll show. Amazing. Let me know what you think, bro. I'm pretty sure you learned something today. Let me know if you did. If you didn't, well. I meant to show y'all something, bro, right? What was it? Man, man, I forgot. But anyway, I'm happy overall that I got it. I got this to turn on. Let's see how it goes. Now there's more cables. Now I got to put this cable under there. But I'm taking this all apart this weekend to clean it up. It's time to clean up. And I'm moving this. these two uh, Italian dresses. They amazing, though. I got a lot of storage in there, tech stuff, but I'm going to get them out. A table is going here so I can put my other sim rig and my other stuff and show people how you could game and make content with any TV that you have. Facts. And we doing benchmarks again, and I'm trying other graphics cards, uh, quadros. We got a lot of stuff and a lot of giveaways. Stay tuned, bro. Links in the description to other platforms you can find me on. And if you game and you want to pop out with us and make content... And have my people follow you and all that. Let me know. My main channel is uh, on the lockout. Golden Culture with a K. This one, that one. I don't know where I'm going to post this at yet. But wherever it goes, the link's in the description. Pop. Well, I'll show you how to do exactly the same. I'm a million percent grateful. Remember, I come from the streets, the gutter, the slums. Jail, prison, ex-gang member. If I could do it. Anybody could do it. And I never bought a pre-built. I built my own computers. And I show the videos all the time, bro. All the time. Because I want you to understand that I did it, bro. And I didn't know how to build computers. And look. 
Pop. That's me right there. Building the computers. Pop. The products. That client had paid me $7,000 to build three computers for his kids. And I did that. Facts. The videos are around there with his kids happy. Uh, it's amazing when you can touch people like that. Pop. And they want your product and they want your work. Right? It's a good thing. Pop. God bless. I'm grateful. Let me know what you think. Bop. So that's how it came out after we got it all together. I'm going to probably change the pics. I just did that for recreation right now. Came out pretty cool, right? So I had to put this one up in the control panel to make it like this one. Because in, in NVIDIA control panel is like on 65. So you go over here where I got the NVIDIA uh, control panel. Bop. Open it up. And these are them. Pop. You see the three monitors? Pop. That one. Which is uh, the main one. That's the capture card. HD60X. And this is that monitor. So is that 65 right here? With the ink. This one is regular because that's the streaming PC. And I have his own graphics card, so there's no need to send coloration there, although I do sometimes. So I just put this one to match what this graphics card is doing. And they both in video cards, so the colors are like more or less the same. Bop. So there you have it, bro. Stay up. Bop. What you think? Spooky, baby. Ah.